Welcome back everybody to another brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl video. A new glitch has been discovered. We're now able to go to New Moon Island, and not only that, we're able to do some other things by manipulating the options that certain NPCs give us options we're not supposed to have. I call this new glitch the choice glitch in which we can add choices that we shouldn't have access to to our options and use them to get to places and get certain things that we're not supposed to get. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So let me just give you an example. We're going to, for this video in particular, we're going to use this sailor right here who gives me the options to go to Iron and Full Moon Islands only. We're going to use him to bring me to New Moon Island, which is over here, and I've already done it. <laughs> and there it is. We're going to give him and add the New Moon option onto his list there. But we have to do a brand new glitch to do it. Shout out for this is going to go to Verlicify, who happens to be just one of the biggest and best cheaters at every game that I know. This guy has taught me so many hacks and exploits and cheats. Uh, however, don't subscribe because he's really trying to kill his channel. I think that's just something he wants. Okay, guys, so let's get this glitch on the road. All right, we're going to have to go over to the Pokemon Center. We are going to be doing this all in Candlelave City. And in order to make this work, we're going to be doing, in essence, a menu glitch like normal. And then we're going to be doing the new choice glitch. And then we're going to be doing a new menu glitch again on top of that. So it's a little bit of work to do this, but it's a really fun and exciting prospect to go check out the island for Dark Ride. So first thing to keep in mind, guys, is you will have to register your guidebook. Okay, so register out to the quick bar so, th so you'll be able to hit plus and have it come up like this. Okay? Okay, you'll be able to see that there. That's one thing you're going to have to do. And now we're going to do the menu glitch. So I'm going to go ahead and do the menu glitch like normal by spamming R and A together on fly on my Poketch. I'm going to go up into the Pokemon Center like this. I'm going to take two steps forward using my D-pad. And then I'm going to hold right all the way down the escalator. There we go. And I'm going to hit right again to go back up the escalator. I'm going to hit the D-pad left five times. And then we head down to go out of the Pokemon Center. Okay, so now that we're out, guys, and that's how you do it, uh, we're going to go ahead and activate our menu. By using the right analog stick, the right analog stick, you'll be able to drag your cursor down here so you don't move your character. And I'm going to hit A on Canalave and then X very shortly after like this. A, X, okay? And that's going to get my menu up and my option to hit yes. So I'm going to hit A again to hit yes so we can fly to Canalave City and have my menu open. So, this is the setup for the very first brand new glitch. Let's go into the Pokemon Center, the choice glitch. So now with the menu open, we're going to go upstairs this time. Yes, we're going to go upstairs. When you're upstairs, guys, just go straight up and standing in front of the woman here, we're going to hit plus. You won't be able to see her, but you'll be able to see her now in a sec. Hit plus. Exit B and B one more. And now we're standing right in front of her with our quick bar open. So next up, guys, make sure you hit A to talk to her. Hit A again and hit A on yes. And when you have this box here, which says, which kind of trainer would you like to appear as? We're gonna hit down to activate our guidebook. Hit down and A very, very quickly like this. Down A, okay, like that. Just like that, it was very, very fast, right? Hit B and you can see we are now able to move around with the options that the woman would have given us for the costumes. We're gonna hit B on this too. We're going to hit X to get rid of the last one and hit B again. So now we've gotten rid of all the text boxes, which is very important for you to do. Let's go down and out of here now. Bam, and out of the Pokemon Center. Okay, so that is the new menu choice glitch active. That's going to be active whether you go fly to a new city, whether you leave the city, whether you go in and out of Pokemon Center or buildings or anything. That's still going to be active for one use. And that is what's going to give me new options on the sailor and we're going to show you we're going to show you that in just a second after we activate another menu glitch which we need to be able to move around on new moon island i know it's a bit strange so let's go ahead and activate the fly again uh, activate the menu the menu again hopefully that got it did not let's try again okay just doing the same thing as before we're just going to get a new menu glitch once more that's all we're doing There we go. Into the Pokemon Center. Down the escalator. Up the escalator. And out of the Pokemon Center. There we go. All right, so now we're just gonna do the same thing again. Fly and X and hit A on that. And now we have our second menu glitch open. All right, now we're ready to do this. Let's go over to the Sailor. 
Just walk over to the sailor. So the previous glitch, the choice glitch, the brand new glitch that we just showcased is going to change the sailor's options significantly. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm just gonna position in front of the sailor. I'm gonna turn left so I'm facing away from him, go into my bag, and I'm gonna turn right so we can talk to him. Okay, do you want to sail? A on that. And now you can see the menu come up. <laughs> so this is what we did with the previous glitch. The new glitch. This brings up my menu here, which actually adds new Moon Island to the menu that we did not have, which had which had iron, full, and quit only. So new Moon Island actually happens to be Lucas. Lucas here is new Moon Island. So I'm gonna hit A on this. And and when you see the II anchors away, you gotta hit B, you guys. You gotta hit B. Hit B again, and just relax. Just wait until you get to the island with your menu open like so. All right? And that is going to allow us to do something special to be able to move on the island. Now, if you did not do the menu glitch again, like I did, you will be able to go to the island just like I did with the, the second glitch, the new glitch, but you will not be able to move. When you reach this point, you will not be able to move, you'll not be able to open menus, you'll not be able to do anything at all, and you'll have no nothing to do but restart your game. So that's no use to anybody. Here, because we have our menu open, I can hit A into my bag again. I'm gonna go over to my explorer kit and I'm gonna use this item, go to the underground by playing alone. This will break the lock, I guess, in a sense. And it will allow me to fully move on the island. Just go straight back up. So after you've done all that, you guys, you'll be fully free to move around on the island. Here we go. We are now able to move. Whereas before, if we didn't do the second menu glitch and do all that, uh, we would not be able to move. We would just be deadlocked and we'd have to reset our game. So Darkrai's right in here, right? Let's have a look. Oh, oh, he's not. He's not, guys. It's so sad. He is not here. This does not activate the flag, which I'm, I'm really disappointed about. I thought it would. I was really hopeful when we did this at first. I was really hopeful. But it does not activate the flag. It looks like the only way to make Dark Ride properly spawn is actually doing this through the house, which you need the member's card in. And the member's card is only available from a mystery gift, which is not available yet. So that's really something we cannot do uh, right at the moment. So this place is as empty as Verlicify's videos right now. So, you know, there's nothing to be done except just enjoy the fact that you can do it. And you can keep this on your map like I showed you earlier. You can keep this on your map, but there's not you're not able to fly out of here. But looking at my map here, you can see that I have New Moon Island on my map. To, in order to keep it on your map, you can just go back and talk to the sailor. This is the only way you'll be able to get off of New Moon Island anyway. Just talk to him and he'll bring you back to Can Life City. All right, guys, so that's the glitch. Uh, all you have to do, you don't have to do the second menu glitch uh, for other uses of this. I do have other uses for this new choice glitch, which I will showcase to you in another video. But thank you everyone for watching this one. Feel free to experiment, test other NPCs, test different options all over the place. See what you guys come up with, because of course the community effort in discovering things is exactly what's, what creates the value out of these glitches. There's so much to test, and it's too much for obviously one person to find everything. This is a community effort, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new glitch and I hope you guys find something really fruity with it as well. I will show you guys the next video and something that actually does have a very good use for this. And uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will be very happy about that one too when I get it out there. It'll be very, very soon, guys. Thanks for watching this one. Drop a sub if you're new as well. And I'll see you guys around in the next video. Till then, bye.